welcome back to talk with naya so let's get into some opinions on artists careers some of them may be popular opinions some of them may be unpopular opinions but we're gonna start this off with a part one we're only gonna talk about a few people but let's get into it so i want to start off with ari lennox now ari lennox has a beautiful voice i love a lot of her songs and some feel that Ari Lennox could be way more popular than she currently is. All right. Now, Ari Lennox has a lot of talent. She signed on the J. Cole's label. She has a beautiful voice. She makes great R&B songs. But why isn't Ari Lennox the main it girl in R&B? Let me play you this clip. Like Ari really isn't that popular because she hasn't assimilated her look in a sense. Like she looks like us. Yeah. So she's not going to get that mainstream popularity. Like I really feel like she should be on the same level as like SZA or like For Summer sure. Walker. She's she's not. For sure. And I feel like it's because she looks regular. Like I really do feel that way. And if y'all disagree, then, then fine. But that's, I really feel that way. I feel like when you don't assimilate, like you don't get the success that you want. And so that's why I kind of resonate. Unless with you already women. had a body like yeah, that yeah, anyway. Yeah. But that's why I, I feel like a lot of black girls love Ari Lennox because like she's so relatable um when it comes to like the black female um experience and even just with her looks. Like but she even with her and, I feel like one day it's gonna like she's gonna succumb to all of it. Cause even I think like No bro shit. When we get more notoriety and everything like that, like what mm-hmm. am I gonna wanna change about myself? Yep. Like I already nitpick myself and then you see men then you see men's reaction to it mm-hmm. and how much they fawn over these people and how much they love looking at them. And although it's like very lustful, being lusted after is still something that is profitable. Mm-hmm. And then on top of it, it's just like it always continues to eat at me like, am I not enough? The fact that's the fact that Dolce like we look so much alike mm-hmm. and I was just like so sad I was like I love her right like I saw me yeah when I be seeing like the black girls like that's up and coming like R&B singers or like just rappers I be praying I'm like please don't do anything don't do anything because I love seeing I love seeing regular looking black girls with like the black features and like the the, the 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 hair the natural hair and like all of that stuff. like I love seeing I just be thinking like please please don't you, you and like it's the not only representation us judging for me. either yeah it's really not it's really it's not. like I'm not gonna stop supporting any yeah. of these artists it's more so I internalize it and it's like it's not their job to make it's sure not. that our feelings are safe it's not but, but there is regardless to be said yeah like when regardless you when you see it all the time that's why women will go through like great lengths just to be desirable because Mm -hmm. you make more money that way you do so do you guys think that Ari Lennox isn't as mainstream or isn't as super popular in her genre of music because she wears her natural hair or like she looks kind of like your average girl I don't know do you think that it has to do with sexual image because you know that a lot of girls these days are getting pushed a lot more if they got their clothes off okay or depending on what they're talking about and you can't even say that she doesn't sing about you know sexual things because she definitely does all right but i wonder why she's not as big as she could be because i feel like she could be even bigger i mean the talent is there and you know it's to the point where she was saying oh this is my last album oh this is my last tour so I wonder what's going on behind the scenes. Is it her team? Is it us? Let me know. Now I want to move on to Sweetie. Now, although Sweetie got nominated for a Grammy. Back in 2020, you said your big career goal was to be nominated for a Grammy and have global visibility. And here you are at the Grammys, nominated. You have brand endorsements. You are killing the game. Could you have imagined that what you put out into the universe would come back to you so quickly? Girl, don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. Oh, um, yes, but I didn't know it would happen this quick. A lot of people are curious about why Sweetie's career isn't doing too well 
in comparison to when everybody got put on to her hit songs like Icy Girl, My Type, Tap In, and Best Friend. Okay, a lot of people feel that after her breakup with Quavo, that caused her to flop even more because we all know Quavo can rap and people definitely assumed that he was helping her write her songs. So they're like, she no longer has his help. People started to see a downturn in her music after their breakup. All right. Now, some people also think that Sweetie benefits from pretty privilege, being light skinned in the music industry for her looks, and she's going to get a bigger push. Now, in my opinion, I think that Sweetie is not in the right lane. Okay. I definitely see Sweetie as more of a business owner, more of an influencer type of girl. She could have went into modeling if she wanted to or being like a print model. I feel like she could have had several businesses going on and just kind of because she's great at branding, you know, but she's not great at rapping. But for some reason, it's something she likes to do. But and she was able to pull off a few bops. But a lot of people also give her a lot of criticism because a lot of her bops are samples from other old bops. Right. So I think that I would love to see her take her career in another direction and not acting. I would love to see her take her career in more of owning several businesses and seeing where she goes with that. If she has an interest or passion in it, because she can be really good at branding and people like her for her. People aren't following her to hear her next song drop. That's just how we were introduced to her. But I think she has the opportunity to sway her audience into supporting her in something else. Now let's get into what other people think. So I think on my page it's time to talk about Sweetie because a lot of people are saying that she should quit rapping, focus on her brand deals, but let me tell you what I really think. So recently Sweetie actually got Grammy nominated, congratulations to her, but ever since her hit with Doja Cat Best Friend, she really hasn't had a hit song yet. So I went on Twitter and make sure you guys follow me on there. A lot of people have mixed reactions. Saying Sweetie is one of the finest women out of her era, but her music career is pretty privileged on steroids. So when I said Sweetie doesn't really have to make music like she could, she could just make a career out of being pretty. There are a lot of tweets like that and I have to disagree. Honestly, I just feel like she needs a new team of writers and some new motivation when it comes to music. I'm not sure if her brand deals are overshadowing her music, like her focus on that. And I am a big fan of Sweetie's music like three years ago, like Focus and Anti, which you can see I listened to it. I would definitely recommend listening to those. And I'm going to say again, I just feel like she needs a new team of writers and some new inspiration around her. But let me know what you guys think because I would love to know your opinion. So I want to talk about colorism, specifically pertaining to the rapper Sweetie's career. So for those that don't know, Sweetie is an American female rapper. And while she's had had many successful moments, right now we're seeing her career take a very big downslope. And I want to talk about why. So for those that don't know, she was in a public relationship with Quavo. And there were rumors going around that she has slept with Quavo's brother Offset. Who, by the way, is a married man whose wife literally had to pay men to beat two women up because he couldn't keep his dick in his pants. But I digress. Yeah, not. So a lot of people have been bashing Saweetie because she came out with a song recently and she was speaking on... A certain relationship but not many people like she wasn't specific but people assumed that it had to be either about Lil Baby or Quavo and Offset. So a lot of people are saying that this is why her career is plummeting but I actually want to provide a different perspective. I think that Saweetie is a very beautiful woman and I think that she is also very smart and she definitely knows what she's doing when it comes to marketing. However, I don't think that she's the best rapper. Um, I don't think that she's the most talented rapper. I actually think in terms of rapping, she's very mediocre and I'm not trying to be rude or anything. This is just facts. But Saweetie was able to get away with being a mediocre rapper in terms of skills while also having a very exciting lifestyle and personality that could gravitate people towards her brand. And truly, I think the reason for this is because of light skin privilege. And a lot of you are going to say, oh my God, here you go again, bringing colorism into everything. Oh my fucking God, it's not about us. If Saweetie was dark skinned with the same talent, I promise you she wouldn't have had the same success. And society wouldn't have given her a chance at all. And it is okay to acknowledge that, y'all. And it is okay to acknowledge that our light skinned counterparts 
do have the luxury of being mediocre and still being successful in black spaces. And before anyone starts, we are not blaming light-skinned women. This is not their fault. This is a system-made problem. And honestly, it's so stupid to act like this isn't the case because you know, if you slap some light skin on Flo Millie or Amaretta or Tink, even Asian doll, their careers would look so different and they would have so much more success. Don't lie, you know it. And let's also remember, Saweetie's success does consist of hits, not albums. And anybody can make a hit and make it successful. But an album, that's different. So when we see low album sales from her, but we see millions of followers on her Instagram, we all get confused, but really the answer is in front of us. We didn't fall in love with Saweetie because she was talented. We fell in love with her because she was the pretty, thick, light skin who was very confident and had the lifestyle that we all like to watch and we mainly just supported her music because we liked her but not because we liked her music alone you know what i mean but let me know what you guys think in the comments rapper is selling more burgers than albums and now many people claim her career is over she used to get more than a billion streams in spotify but suddenly she stopped releasing music for almost three years and after all that time she thought it would be a great idea to release a comeback album but it turned out to be a huge mistake because she only sold 2,000 copies on the first week of release so when she did a celeb meal collab with mcdonald's that did better than the album it was supposed to be promoting many mocked her saying her career was over and that she could do better as an influencer instead. And you will be shocked to find out what she has to say about this. She's sweetie. And she jumped to fame with her single Icy Girl. But she's not a one-hit wonder because she took her game to another level when she released a collab with Doja. All right, so let me know what you think about Sweetie. Now, lastly, we're going to talk about Lotto. Now, Lotto has been a huge conversation over the past six plus months, especially when the drama with her and Nicki Minaj happened. She's been a huge, huge conversation, but more so in this big unpopular opinion, or maybe it is a popular opinion that she ended her career after she had the beef with Nicki Minaj, right? Now, she went through a lot of drama, and basically, once she had that drama with Nicki Minaj, a lot of people felt like she ended her career with that. She got a lot of pushback also about her original name, Mulatto, along with the leaking of 130 of her songs and... She kind of got exposed a little bit for copying some other rappers' lyrics a little bit. All right, listen to these opinions. I wanted to respond to this because although I do agree with you, I want to explain why Lotto will never be the next Supreme. Now, in order for me to properly explain this, we're going to have to have a slight history lesson. Hip hop was created by Black Americans and Afro-Latinos. Long to the short, it's Black, regardless of diaspora. This is a Black genre of music. And even though motherfuckers like to critique and say that Black people don't gatekeep enough, I think we do a good job of it because we've seen how white people hijacked rock and roll. And you can see it in the trends. Every couple years, it's a new white boy. It's a new white bitch. Eminem gets his flowers because he's the only white boy of the white boys who was really spitting super hot fire. Everyone else has just been like, they a rapper and then, and then they disappear. And yeah, when these white men in hip hop go to white spaces, they might be acknowledged. But in the streets, the people listening to hip hop, Jack Harlow's never going to be the king of motherfucking hip hop. Are you kidding me? That's like saying fucking Ed Sheeran's the king of Afrobeats. Like, that's not happening. Now, this is where branding comes into play because it can be said that Aubrey, Aubrey is one of the most successful. He's the greatest of all time. Has Aubrey branded himself since the beginning as a biracial? Aubrey branded himself as a light skin. Mm. And that's why I be on here every day like words mean things. Because to be a light skin person is not synonymous with being biracial. I'm a light skin black person. Both my parents are black. I'm, I'm telling you I'm black even though I know I look like this. Lato, as in mulatto, as in that's what she was calling herself, clearly saying, I am not black, I am mulatto. It's just never, she's, 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 and she's got the bars, and she's got the mainstream success, and it, and it, and it could have happened, but because of that, it won't. And just to further my point, Mariah Carey is and has always been acknowledged as a black woman. Why? Because Mariah Carey has said she's a black woman, and ain't nobody finna check her over it and mariah carey can go into whatever black space and whatever black genre and be the queen of what she needs to be because she's black not mulatto this is why things like branding and artist development in the 
you know, beginning stages of your career is crucial because they ask these questions. Where do you see yourself and where do you want to end up? Because if you want to end up the next queen of female rap, Mulatto was not the rap name she should have took. I'm just thinking about how Lotto is definitely one of those celebrities that Nikki is never going to forgive. Like, Lotto is officially cut. And Nikki forgives everybody. Nikki even liked this tweet about her and Cardi B not that long ago. But Lotto not only talked about her husband, but recorded a private phone call with Nikki. And then posted it. Not even Cardi did that. Like, she is never going to bounce back from that. I'm sorry. Lotto. I love you. I love you. I love you. And this is where y'all say I be starting stuff and being messy, but I just got to shoot it straight from the hips. You got mad at Hollywood Unlocked. Alle I'll say allegedly. Allegedly. When we posted this photo on Hollywood Unlocked, and this was a photo from behind your ear where it says Savage, right? It says Savage, 21 Savage, or it says his name. This is his name, which was 21 Savage. People were saying that you and him are in a relationship, allegedly. And then it started a whole conversation online because he's married and people thought he was married to stay in this country because in order to not get deported, you got to be married or go through the pathway of citizenship mm -hmm. that you are, right? And then people were posting it and went viral. And then I started getting calls from your team saying that you, you allegedly wanted to pay me to take it off of Hollywood Unlocked. And I wasn't going to remove it, but I asked my team to check to see if anybody else had posted. And although I think we posted it first, everybody started posting it. And then it became a thing where I think then she got from what I understand, was unhappy with us not taking it down because no calls have been returned. I reached out to her team. We had a conversation about it or whatever. And so to go and then ask Chloe if she was allegedly in a sexual relationship with Quavo, asking the T, how can you do a show and be legitimate as a show person when you don't want your own tea spilled and won't own up to sip your own tea? And so that's the issue that I have with celebrities doing this thing. She can't even do a, re a re relationship based re uh, show. She can't because she doesn't want to own the relationship that she's allegedly in. If I was Chloe, I would have hit her right back with what about you in 21? I would have hit her right, right immediately. Now, as far as your name, obviously I know what mulatto means, but some people might not. What made you go with that actual name? Yeah, for me, it was just about flipping a negative and making it something positive. Like from the jump, um, my parents is from the North. So like in the South, race is like a thing like i remember being in like kindergarten like real young and kids asking me like what what are you like are you black are you white what like what are you in kindergarten like in the south that that's a thing you know what i'm saying so um from the jump like my parents they from the north so they my mama went to an all-white school so the fact that she was pregnant my mom had me at 15 so she got pregnant at 15 by a black man like it was just she, she like she went through a lot you know what i'm saying so it was just like a flipping that that negative from the chump it was a negative because my my mom mm -hmm. what she went through being being a teen mom and being pregnant by a black man at all hey thank you so much powerhouse megan the stallion won this award doja cat won this award it's crazy because thank you guys so much for everything this is the same award that Nicki minaj won lady gaga won Janelle Monet won. So this is a huge, huge stamp. Ain't him by the hour. I tell him the fiend boy, and he should hit the shower. Pussy power, collapse an hour, ayy. Fuck me out that towel, fresh up out the shower, ayy. I'm in that wham, bam, brand new lamb, pull up, hop out shit to me. I'm in that wham, bam, purple. Now, with Lotto, do I think Lotto ended her career? I don't think her career has ended, no. Of course not. She's still putting out songs today. I think that it has her her drama with Nicki Minaj. We'll start off with that one. I really think that that has shifted the perception of Lotto. I think there's some people that, of course, were team Nicki Minaj. And there were some people that, of course, are going to be team Lotto because they both have fan bases. I think it just shifted the perception of her. I think if you kind of were on Nikki's side. You kind of looked at Lotto completely differently. If you didn't, like if you didn't have any dislike for Lotto, you probably looked at her a little bit differently. Or vice versa. If you were on Lotto's side, you look at Nicki Minaj differently. But I think it shifted the perception of her. And I think now she's all like, she's going to have a long period of time where she's tied to 
this beef with Nicki Minaj to the point where her interviews or anything she says could be a pl- it could be shifted towards the situation she has with Nicki Minaj, where she talks about female rap, the state of female rap, and everybody being a sisterhood. You automatically think if she's talking about Nicki Minaj, she's just gonna be tied to that for a long time. And on top of that, a lot of people feel like the two are never gonna squash it. So I I don't know how that's gonna affect her behind the scenes. You know if certain people because you know there has to be people in the industry that may not want to work with her because of that or like there's there's people i'm sure that are team nikki and there's people that are team Lotto, or there's people that don't want to get involved and don't want to be involved in it at all i don't know how that affects her behind the scenes but as far as numbers go we do know that there's a benefit to female rappers being cool with nikki minaj and her fans because they will support their music as well. I mean, you know, look at the people who Nicki Minaj has collabed with. They support the people that she features on her songs or that are songs that Nicki Minaj hops on for other artists. They help their music, they help their career. So, you know, we'll have to see how that plays out. Let me know what y'all think in the comments and I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a good weekend, bye.